the best boxing content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and punch that bell for notifications. Ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to the MEN Arena here in Manchester, England. Barry Hearn for Ringside Boxing Promotions in association with Prince Promotions and Matchroom Sport proudly present for you 12 rounds of boxing for the IBO Light Middleweight Championship of the World. Sponsored here by PokerMillion.com for a great game of online poker and a very warm welcome to our viewers joining us live and exclusive here on Skybox Office Sport. You've joined us for the very best ringside seat in the business. All the officials have been appointed by the British Boxing Board of Control. The IBO President Ed Levine, Coral Gables, Florida, USA, has appointed fight supervisor. Here at ringside, Frank Brunette of New Jersey, USA. Alongside Dennis Lockton and from the British Boxing Board of Control, joined by Alan Simpson. Our three scoring judges, John Coyle of England, Terry O'Connor of England, and Andre Van Grutenbroek of Belgium. Timekeeper at the bell is Mr. Gary Grenon. And our referee in charge of the action is Mr. Frank Santori of Florida, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, they were the officials. Here are the contestants. Firstly, the challenger. He's fighting out of the red corner, wearing the blue trunks and weighing in a 10 stone, 12 pounds, 11 ounces. In a 30 fight record, he has 28 wins. 11 inside the scheduled distance, one loss, one draw. Coming to the ring is the former undefeated Argentinian, Walter Weight champion. Originally from Buenos Aires, Argentina, now based in Madrid, Spain. Would you please welcome Sergio Gabriela Martinez. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the champion. He's fighting out of the blue corner wearing the red trunks trimmed with white. Weighing in a 10 stone, 13 pounds and 12 ounces. A 19 fight record, 17 wins, 14 inside the scheduled distance. Just one loss and one draw. He's making his fourth defense here this evening. He is the reigning and defending IBO light middleweight champion of the world from Stockwell, South London, where he is known as the Secret Richard. So sports fans, and Sky Box Office Sport, let's get the action underway. 12 rounds of boxing for the IBO Light Middleweight Championship of the World. All right, going over all the instructions. Your trunks here above is good. Here above is good. Keep here above. Questions? Questions? Good luck. So here we go, it's 12 rounds of action. For the IBO Light Middleweight Championship. And this looks a good fight in question, Spencer. Yeah, certainly looks like a good contest here. Martinez coming with an excellent record. Only the one loss out of 30 contests. Southpaw. The one loss on Richard Williams' record was against the South Force. We see how he handles Martinez. Yeah, it's, it's um, not an easy opponent to face, I must say. Stop! Stop! Martin is just pulling down on Williams' head there. He's obviously very wary of the knockout power of Richard Williams. I'm going as live, so you just stay. Very impressive boxer, Martinez, from what we've been told. He's very sharp, he's a very good amateur. And. Um, Went to the World Championships, lost to the eventual bronze medalist, but uh, very good amateur record. And as we can see here, early signs of him being a good, fa fast boxer. Yeah, working well behind that southpaw jab, looking to counter Williams as he comes in. Nice sharp start here from Martinez. 
Williams, as we know, likes to stalk forward, just cut off the ring and let go of those big hooks. Very sharp left hand cross downstairs from uh, Martinez to the body and to the head with the right hook. Yeah, slow start here from Williams. He needs to start getting off with that jab. Closing the distance down here. He's a very clever fighter, Martin. As you can see, when he's backing up, his defense is very good, always watching for the shots. And very fast, good start. It's a tremendous jab he's got, Spencer Martinez. Yeah, excellent weapon. Yeah, I got one, man. Especially out of the southpaw stance, very difficult to Break. stop that jab. Break. Williams just needs a little lateral movement, needs to start slipping from side to side and getting off with his own shots. He's allowing Martinez to dictate the pace here in this first round. The referee having a little bit of work to do in this first round. Good, fast start to the, to the fight. And Williams perhaps looking for the one big shot a bit too much here. Where he's seeing missing wildly there with the left hook. Looking to load up with the shots, Williams. He needs to relax and get off with his own shots first. Just taking a look at Martinez here in the first round. Martinez doesn't look phased at all, getting off well with that southpaw jab. I suppose you would expect, though, the heavier man to come through. Williams has shown tremendous power, and he's naturally a bigger man than Martinez. You would expect Williams to come through and uh, take over as the fight goes on with his uh, fitness and power. Let's see how he uh, looks at the end of that first. Yeah, well, Williams there, uh, just taking a look at Martinez, trying to work out that southpaw stance. But a good start there from the Argentinian, getting off well with that southpaw jab and taking that first round. Well, he looks very calm in the corner. His manager and trainer, Ricardo Sanchez Atosha. And this is the champion, Richard Williams. Don Davis, his trainer. Some good work from that first round. Good attacking stuff from Williams, but clever defence from Martinez. Yeah, Williams getting through with a good right hand there. The best shot, as you know, Nicky, against the southpaw. But didn't get off with too many of those. And Martinez really dictating the round behind that southpaw jab. Seconds off, round two. So a good round for the challenger there. And uh, Richard Williams, if he came out expecting to have this fight all his own way, has just had a bit of a shock. He's got a hard night's work ahead of him, I think. Williams really is one of those frustrating fighters that you watch one day. He'll look excellent another day. Not so good, he really does flow hot and cold. That's better work from Williams, just starting to work the body of Martinez. A good lateral movement from Martinez, moving side to side, making it very difficult for Williams to pin him down. And yes, I suppose Williams should be really working this faster, smaller man into the corners. He is elusive, Martinez, but uh, if you just follow your opponent round, you're gonna hit thin air. You're gonna work him into the corners and start unloading then. See, this is where Williams now needs to get off with the shots first himself. He's allowing Martinez to get off with that jab and then move. Williams can't pin him down, spending too much time waiting for Martinez to lead off. Well, it seems to me that uh, Williams is just looking for that one big shot and expecting to be able to take Martinez out at any time. And it's not going to work like that, I don't think, tonight. I think he needs to start working. And uh, remember, this is a points game too. Lovely, classy work from that uh, right southpaw jab of the Argentinian and a good left cross. They both turned pro in 97. 
but Martinez has had 30 fights compared to the 19 of Williams. He's been far busier throughout his career, and he's four years younger too. Great work from Martinez. This is a really fast, sharp start. Break. Yeah, excellent second round here from Martinez. Getting off well behind a jab and coming through with the left crosses. And we really haven't seen anything from Richard Williams as, as of yet. Williams looking to get in close and let go of those bombs. But as you rightly said, Nicky, he needs to start working and trying to pick up a few points. Good stop. Break. Martinez quite clear inside. He's not going to get caught by the big bombs of Williams. If he gets too close, he's going to hold. But he's just beating Williams to the punch at the moment. Well, I think that's another round for the challenger. Two up on my card. Yeah, another big round there for Martinez. <laughs> Getting off first with those shots. Williams look very sluggish in these first two rounds. Really needs to start livening up here, getting those shots together. In the corner there, Don Davis giving the instructions. Don needs to tell him to get off with those shots, let him go in threes and fours. That's when Williams really does look good. But I think tonight this man, Martinez, so far anyway, is, uh, is keeping me off balance and he's finding the southpaw stance, Williams, very difficult to overcome. Could be an omen, as you say, Spencer, that the only other loss on his record early in his career was to a South Fort. Seven seconds, corners. Seconds out. Seconds off. Round three. So third round. Champion Richard Williams in the red shorts and the challenger, Sergio Martinez. From Argentina out of Spain, is in the blue shorts, and Martinez has had two good early rounds under his belt. And a useful little lead to challenge for the ideal light middleweight title. And it's quite clear Williams is looking for those big shots, Spencer. Yeah, you can see him just stalking forward, looking to let go with that right hand. There we see big left hook being thrown. It's all single shots from Williams. Williams does look devastating when he lets him go in threes and fours. We've seen that before when he boxed Shannon oh, Taylor. Right hand. Big right hand, and down he goes. Oh, oh, a balance, Spencer, but he looks pretty hurt there. Yeah, that oh, right hand definitely got oh, through. Martinez definitely felt the weight of that one. Williams needs to pile on the pressure, let them go. Martinez, to be fair, has recovered very quickly. This is good work from Williams, piling on the pressure here. As I was saying, yeah, Williams looks better when he lets the shots go in combinations. We see that when he won the title from Shannon Taylor, from Australia, he looks sensational then. This is better work from Williams here. Break. He is a most fluid of movers. He really does look poetic when he does let the punches go in combinations and clusters, as you say. But Martinez, to be fair, his, uh, his holds on there. Make sure he doesn't take any more big shots. He seems to have cleared his head. Break. <laughs> yeah, credit to Martinez's fitness. The way he's recovered so well. And Williams looks to be blowing this, Spencer. He put a bit of effort in, but he shouldn't be blowing in the third round. Well, he hasn't really thrown anything in the first two rounds, so he shouldn't be blowing at all. And Martinez looks like he's got his senses back together, moving all the time. Oh, that's a big left cross, too. Another one to follow from Martinez. Break. Stop. Break. It's a good recovery here from the Argentinian. This is where you'd expect Williams now to be piling the pressure. Yeah, and he's just not doing it. And um, as I say, I think he's blown a few as here. He's thrown 
a good load of work for 30, 40 seconds, but then is tired from it. And, and, and dare I say, save for the uh, knockdown in 30 or 40 seconds of that round, <laughs> Martinez probably had the better of that again. Yeah, he probably scored 10 8 to Williams, but. <laughs> yeah, he'd have to score it 10 8 to Williams. Let's and here's the right look hand. At the Lovely shot straight through the middle, right on the point of the chin. Martinez definitely felt the weight of that, but recovered so well. Yeah, he did. Look at that, good shot. A big shot from a big puncher too, so Martinez is far tougher than we expected. And I imagine the management of Richard Williams expected. His legs were together a bit there, Spence. He was a little bit off balance, but he certainly felt the power. Yeah, we see him get up there, just shake his head. He definitely felt the weight of that shot, but did recover so well and finished the round so strong. Yeah, he did. Well, if Martinez was getting a little bit uh, sure of himself, after the first two rounds, he was given a, a, a reminder there of the power of Richard Williams. And there we see Richard Williams, the champion red shorts, Martinez in the blue challenger in the blue shorts. This is a really, really good fighting prospect here. We've got the big puncher, the champion Williams, who's just had a bit of success, but he's being outboxed by a very, very classy challenger in uh, Sergio Martinez. And we mentioned Martinez was. Um, was a good amateur, went to the 97 World Championships, but Williams too was uh, a London ABA champion and beat Wayland Alexander en route to that title. Yeah, he's an excellent amateur himself, Richard Williams. Always been an excellent fighter and I've been a fan of his for a long time. But he is one of those frustrating fighters because I know what he can produce and we're not seeing it here this evening. Yeah, there's, there's, no, um, there's no doubt why he was called the secret for many years because everybody could see the talent, especially in the gym, and he just wasn't showing it. He has shown it on a few occasions and looked absolutely brilliant. And to be fair, you know, this is a 12-round fight. He's in with a really classy, fast boxer. He has a lot, lot, long time to go yet. He may well overcome this bad start. Yeah, he just needs to get into his rhythm here. Williams, Martinez at the moment, peppering away with that southpaw jab, getting through with some good left crosses. As you rightly said, there's a long way to go. But Williams just hasn't gone to his rhythm here this evening. Oh, lovely, fast, straight left cross for Martinez, who is the former Argentinian welterweight champion, and he beat Sergio Arcuna, who's been over here boxing the four former WBU and WBF title challenger, stopped Arcuna in seven rounds. That was uh, a couple of years ago. He really has shown some good form. Break. The only other blemish on his record was a draw in his third fight against Mario Neva, and in his fourth fight he... Uh, Avenge that, beating uh, Neva on points in six rounds. So he's very accomplished. Stop, stop. Break. And again here, it's just a sharper work of Martinez. He's winning this round. But it's quite clear that Martinez, of the two at the moment, is the better boxer. He's fast, he's quicker because he's naturally the smaller man. And this south force stance is making it awkward for Williams. So, but dare I say it, I think the only chance Williams has got is, by, uh, is stopping Martinez at the moment or overpowering him with combinations should he be the fitter man. Well, he's, he's certainly losing at the moment, Spencer. Yeah, another round there for Martinez. I mean, next round three for Williams, which levelled it out on my scorecard. But Martinez again there pulling ahead with a good round, and at the moment seems a sharper of the two. There just seems something missing in Richard Williams' armour this evening. Well, Williams doesn't look very happy there. Not that you'd expect him to be. He's just lost three of the first four rounds. He's um, a good champion. <laughs> you know, he's, um, he's not going to panic just yet. 
Yeah, still early days. Just needs to get into his rhythm, just needs to start getting off with those shots. Certainly struggling with that southpaw style at the moment. So here we go. The second third of this contest. Eight rounds to go. And Richard Williams needs to start leading off and not letting his opponent dictate the pace. Good uh, left hook to start the round from Williams. Oh, a very determined start too from Martinez. Nicknamed Maravilla, which is Marvel of course, and he is boxing marvellously at the moment. He certainly is. Nice and sharp, good foot movement side to side, not allowing Williams to get off with his shots. Got a good left cross through there as well, Martinez. Of Martinez's 28 victories, only 11 have come by stoppage. So, having performed most of it well through, you'd expect him not to have the power to, to stop a Richard Williams, who has proven to have a great chin in the past. Been some tremendous wars, especially with the likes of Paul Sanders, a good stiff hitter from... Uh, Newport in South Wales. Good work of getting there behind a jab from Martinez. Williams carrying that left hand a little low there to get his hands up. Stop moving that head. And most importantly, stop getting off with those shots first. At the moment, he's allowing Martinez to dictate the pace. Do you know, it, it seems to amaze me that uh, Martinez has only stopped 11 of those 28 because these are really hard punches coming through. If they're not going to stop you, they're certainly sickening. Yeah, nice, solid, crisp shots coming from Martinez. And getting confident now, dropping those hands. And the left jab is very sharp. But that, the right jab is very sharp. The left cross is a really, really fast, hard punch. That shot, oh. Williams just seems to be going through the motions in there at the moment, just stalking forward. Looks like he's in a sparring session, Williams. No fire in his work whatsoever. And there's definitely something wrong here this evening with Richard Williams. Can't work out the style of Martinez, and Martinez boxing beautifully at the moment. But they are really hard jabs. You know, this, this kid's a really good fighter, Martinez. And I think Williams is just struggling with um, the fact that I don't think he's ever been outboxed before, and that's what's happening here. Yeah, Martinez is sharper of the two. Right, he's putting everything into that jab, whipping it out. And then just a good lateral movement from side to side. And Williams has got no answer in there at the moment. Well, another very good round there for the challenger. Yeah, an excellent round there from Martinez. They'll be very pleased in that corner. He still looks nice and fresh. Not marked up at all. Good exchanges during that last round, but look at the combination punches coming back from uh, Martinez. Really fast counters. Well, there's that solid jab that you was talking about, Nicky, and he's had success with that from the first bell, from another angle, getting off with those left crosses. And See, Williams every really... punch he throws is hard, Spencer. Yeah, he puts everything into every shot, nice and sharp. Williams looking a bit puffed up round the eyes now. It just seems to be something missing in Williams this evening. There's no sharpness there whatsoever. You can see the differences in those corners. You know, both taking it very seriously, of course, but Martinez just has that air of confidence about him, whereas Williams looks a bit um, dejected there in the corner. So sixth round of 12, and a long way to go in this one. And it could be a painful journey for the champion. But is he eating jabs at the moment like that? And at the moment, I think the only chance he has is if Martinez walks onto a big shot or tires. Well, Martinez, you can see, has come with a game plan to keep on the outside of Richard Williams, pushing out that jab, creating the openings and letting those combinations go. And it's working at the moment. 
I mentioned the Paul Samuels fight uh, with uh, Richard Williams. He did box Samuels twice, of course. The first time he was cut very badly. So badly, in fact, I thought it would hamper his career. But it, to be fair, it's not opened up all that left eye since um, since the first fight. And in the return against Samuels, he did overcome some, some tough patches there and come through and looked very strong in the ninth. Yeah, he went through some very sticky patches there. Again, Samuels in a, another thriller with Richard Williams. But here at the moment, Williams being completely out of box. And good work again from Martinez. And he stopped Samuels in the 10th in the second match. And, and the point I'm making is maybe this, you know, all's not lost here. He's come through bad patches in the past and, and he needs to do it again here. Stop. I think he's right. He's no doing a 12 rounder. There's a long way to go yet. We're not even at the halfway point. But at the moment, it's all Martinez and getting off the good shots again there. And Williams really. Not showing us nothing there at the moment. Looks like he's down through the motions. Yeah, and neither of these men have done 12 rounds in their careers so far. Martinez has done 10 rounds seven times. Williams has only done 10 twice. Oh, sorry, two times. And the last one, of course, he won. He defended this title on points against Andre Pastraya over 12. So Williams has done 12 rounds once. But he's been so outfoxed here. Seems to be nothing in the tank. He's just walking on to punishment. That's what I say. He just seems to be going through the motions here to see Richard Williams. There's definitely something wrong oh, there. He's getting through with a good right hand there. Well, that registered. Definitely made Martin as blink there. is better, great up and down, all the court on the counter himself. And look at Martinez, he just doesn't stop. Two good left crosses coming back there from Martinez. And another dominant round by the Argentinian. Well, Williams started to get on top at the end of that round, but Martinez, in the last few seconds, just took the to play away totally. Head run, head and run. said, look, I'm in charge here. I'm the boss. Spit. Spit. Okay. Spit. 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 there leaning through the ropes said there's half a fight to go and just keep working you'll eventually catch him with his shots well there's some good work there from Martinez it's making Williams miss an encounter in so well with that left cross then a good right hook go to the body as well it's okay, giving Williams that advice to just keep going and you'll eventually catch up with him. But Williams needs to start getting off with those shots. He can't just keep stalking forward. He needs to start getting off with the shots first and let them go in combinations. Yes, you're right. He needs to work and outwork his opponent. But the, the problem is, Spencer, every time he seems to put a little spur together, he tires a little bit and Martinez comes straight back and takes the play away. Yeah, I don't know if it's down to training or what, but it certainly doesn't look right this evening, Richard Williams. Only looks about 50% of himself. Well, I know Barry Hearn, his manager, talks so highly of Richard Williams. He's got big things in line for his champion. Expects him to go on to much better things than this. So he'll be disappointed and, and, and really amazed and... Um, we lost for a reason why Williams looks so bad tonight because he's been totally outboxed. And again, good shots from Martinez. Yeah, Martinez looks nice and fresh in there, sticking to his game plan, moving side to side. He's not giving Williams no target, getting off with those southpaw jabs. Good left crosses coming for as well. And it's all Martinez in there at the moment. Well, that's better work now for Williams, just using the jab of it. Right, 
Martin has gone a little bit quiet. As I say that, he unloads four good body shots. jab from the champion and Martinez comes straight back with a tremendously hard one of his own. Yeah, it seems disheartened in there at the moment, Williams. Martinez, the one that's like he's growing in confidence. Really buzzing in there at the moment, Martinez. He's getting up with a shot so well. I'd just like to see Williams now try and lift it up again. Good solid hooks going in there from Williams. <laughs> he really needs to sustain this pressure, Williams. Martinez complaining of a low flow. It didn't look low to me. Maybe see that later, but uh, seems to be on the, on the belt line. Maybe a breather, although to be fair, he's coping very well, so there's no reason for him to make up things about being hit low. Good work again with that left cross, really finding the range there, Martinez. And his defence is so good, and his characters are even better. Richard Williams walking back to the corner there, looks so disappointed with himself. Just looks like he's not in this contest at the moment. Another big round for the Argentinian. Williams really has got to do something here, he's got to start trying to turn this around because this fight is slipping away from him. Yes, he's only won one round on my card, the third when he knocked his opponent down. And uh, if, we, if we're honest, he lost two minutes of that round too. The knockdown score is big, of course, but he's not boxed well during this fight. And that corner and camp will be very, very uh, disappointed at the moment. You can see them there in the corner trying to G Richard Williams up. They're not, they're not getting too overly excited though, um, Spencer. I, you know, I, I like a bit of shouting in there, you know, Ging, you know, pumped up much louder. Yeah. My style, I suppose, others are different. No, that's, that's right. I used to have the same thing myself, Nicky. My trainer used to yell at me in the corner because then it gets through. If they're softly spoken, it doesn't really register and you're just like, yeah, yeah, just get on with it. You need really someone in the corner shouting and screaming. Todd Davis in the corner there, not really doing that. Lovely short countering right up from uh, Martinez. Again here we see at the beginning of this round, Williams waiting for Martinez to lead off all the time. Then Martinez is not there to be hit afterwards. This is where Williams now needs to work, let those shots go. Well, it's a good work from Williams to start to be faced. He's put some effort in, but look at him just walking on the shots. As I say, he's not leading off with the shots first himself. He's walking forward, look at that Martinez. Five shots unanswered there. Williams got no way in. See, look, Williams just waiting for Martinez to lead off with the shots. Needs to get off with the shots first himself. Well, he's playing right into the hands of Martinez. He's having a little breather, just dancing around, shaking his arms out. Any fatigue, he's just shaking out. This is easy. See Martinez every time leading off first, what's Williams actually doing? He's stalking forward, not letting any shots go whatsoever. Martinez really just playing with him in the air at the moment. Williams will just now and again let the big right hand go. It'll be blocked, come back with counters. See Martinez really oozing with confidence in there now. 
do you think there's something wrong with William Spencer, or is he is he just being bamboozled here and, and not you know beaten to the punch and, and it just doesn't know what to do? Well, I think there's certainly something wrong with Williams in his performance this evening because I've never quite seen him look this bad. I know he blows hot and cold, but there's something not right with Williams in there this evening. He looks like he's just going through the motions, whether he's overtrained, undertrained, I'm not sure. I'm not sure the reasons for it, but that's not the reason Break. Williams are going there this evening. Break. Well, he beat Tony Badia, the Canadian, for the Commonwealth uh, title and looked absolutely fantastic in that fight. And then the next fight out, looked awful against Zane Osmond, really bad. And he blamed that on a chest infection, a viral infection, had a good few months out, and, and this could be a reoccurrence of that. Well, Richard Williams, his career has been played with illnesses. I mean, he's had singles, he's had all sorts Richard Williams. And there's certainly something not right with him here this evening. And another big round for Martinez. Come on. Come on. See if we can hear what they're saying. Come on. 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 Nine, nine coming up. Yeah. His last few rounds supposed to be yours. Well, they're telling him, to be fair, you have to work. I still, there's three people talking there, but um, I, I, I still think they should be more stern with the man. But, but they're telling him he has to work, he has to win it. So he knows he's behind. He can't, he's not an idiot, he can't fail to know he's behind. But you know the frustrating thing there, they're telling him he's got to work, he's got to work. He knows he's got to work. He's not being told what he's got to do and why, why he's getting hit with certain shots. He's not really getting good advice there in the corner. I don't think Richard Williams has been the same since he's been out with James Cook. James Cook is former trainer. James really had been buzzing, but since he's not done Davis, he doesn't seem to be the same there. And the advice there in the corner wasn't particularly good. But one thing James Cook was, was a master of defence, and I think that's what he needs at the moment, is, is some advice on how to avoid these right leads and left crosses. Move round to your left, throw your own left hook to come to the jab of the uh, south ball. And, and, and we say about, of course, Williams, being off form, and he does look off form, but Martinez, to be fair, is a very, very good boxer. A big shock to all, I think nobody knew he was going to be this good when they brought him over. Yeah, Martinez, I think we all thought he was just a pumped up welterweight who wouldn't be out of cope with Williams' power, but has proved us wrong. I mean, I know he come with an excellent record with only one loss, one draw out of the 30 contests. But he's much better than anyone expected. Yeah, he's definitely world class. And uh, the 28 is still looking to even higher. Uh, and I think we may look back in a year or two, if indeed Williams does carry on and lose this, as it looks very likely at the moment, and say it wasn't that much of a shock. But Martinez is really unloaded. Tremendous work. Break. Yeah, well, you know, ninth round Spencer, he's like, like fresh and lazy. Beautiful work there, off the ropes, Williams <laughs> tried to pick it up, but Martinez counter-punched so well off the ropes. Like you said, looks like he's in the first round here, Nicky. Excellent performance. And Richard Williams really looking out of his depth here. And I didn't think I'd be sitting here this evening saying that. And what's making it easier? Martinez is that Williams is giving him so much space, allowing him to shake his arms free and just dance around. Stop, stop, break. That's it, it looks like Williams doesn't want to commit himself to getting close because he feels that he's going to get counter punched every time he gets in. But there's been no waste of progress with Williams, he hasn't been leading off first with his shots, hasn't been letting the combination right, go. Break. And this certainly is the Richard Williams that I know. And, and has tried nothing different, Spencer. You know, he's it's the same thing all the time. Nothing different, and the opponent's just reading everything he's doing. That's it. Excellent point. He's done the same thing from the first bell. And it's quite simple for Martinez in there at the moment. He looks very tired as he walks back to the corner. 
after nine rounds surprisingly unmarked he's um, taken so many straight jabs and left crosses and there's not a mark on him good sign which I think shows that the, uh, the cut against Paul Samuels a year, a year ago was uh, certainly caused by a big bad clash of heads and, and I'm surprised that hasn't opened up but, there, but there's, um, he's looking very good around the face surprisingly yeah a little swollen maybe over the left eye but nothing really major and they've certainly done a good job on that cut because it has opened up and it wasn't a horrific cut that was but some of the good work again off the ropes there from Martinez. Look at that beautiful work behind the jab, left crosses straight down the middle, and nothing back from Williams. Come on, Richard. Come on. So I think we're both in agreement here that Richard Williams, the champion, if he's going to hold on to his title, needs a knockout. Yeah, I think part of Robbie, third round is the knockdown for Williams, a 10 8 round for Williams. Apart from that, I've got Martinez winning everything on my card. Come on, These rounds haven't really been close. Martinez really dominated on the outside, working well behind the jab. And this here. It really has been the story of the contest. Martinez working well behind the jab, letting the combinations go. And nothing back from Williams. Well, that's clearly a, a fall and a very tired fall at that, and a very tired man getting up. There's just nothing there. Williams has proven to have a very, very good chin. And has never really been hurt by anything Martinez has thrown. I say Martinez hasn't got a great knockout record, but I think he's punched up very hard. Well, it looks certainly nice and snappy. Oh, it must be very frustrating for Williams. Williams getting through with a rare right hand there. And worryingly, no effect. And again, the right hand, because he needs a knockout. Martinez took that one so well. Martinez. Sluggish right hand there from Williams. There really doesn't look anything in the tank at all now with Richard Williams. He looks like he'd be glad to hear that final bell. Martinez going to give him a boxing lesson in there at the moment. Stop! Break! Break! Again, the same old thing, the right hand downstairs from Williams. I think you hit the nail on the head, Nick. He said he's been doing the same thing from round one. To hear a contempt for Martinez piling on the pressure here. Williams looks tired on that ropes, there's nothing coming back. And Martinez now attacking and looking at him for the stoppage here. And, and at this stage, I wouldn't blame the referee if he jumped in. Well, there's nothing coming back from Williams at all. And if you take your eyes off the action for a bit, look at the face of Barry Hearn, centre screen there. The manager of Richard Williams cannot believe what is going on. Well, a frustrated Richard Williams and a tired-looking Richard Williams walking back to that corner. And I don't know what they can tell him in the corner, really, to try and turn this one around. There's another big round there for the Argentinian. Absolutely shattered. And I, as you say, I don't think any advice would do any good now. He's not got the energy to carry out the advice. Definitely not come off to win this fight. You understand? You can't see if I knew of a fourth. You understand what I'm saying? Round 11. This is round 11. You have to knock him out. Leave your ticket and go inside. Right? Drink some water. Well, this was the end of the round, and Martinez really piling on the pressure. Yep, yeah, look, nothing coming back from Richard Williams whatsoever. Doesn't even look like he wants to throw a shot back. Martinez really enjoying himself in there at the moment, and an easy outside. night's work. Picking a lovely right uppercut there as well, Martinez. And there looks a defeated man in Richard Williams. He really needs something big here in these last two rounds. 
Well, he's just been told he needs a knockout. whether the good-looking Argentinian was in the wrong game at the beginning of this fight. Because William certainly was about to ruin those blocks on my card, but it's just not happened. Good right cross coming back from Williams. Just a single shot. And Martinez again trying to pick it up, trying to turn this around here. Forced the stoppage maybe late on from Williams. Would be a tremendous uh, result in a big, big shot. If you could stop Williams. Very, very good chin, Williams. Oh, the right hook! Well, something connected. Oh, it looked like an excellent left hook. I think Martinez was hurt there. Solid shot from Richard Williams. That's what he knew. He knew he needs to pile on that pressure. Well, there's one hook for Williams at the end of this contest. Can he step it up and get the stoppage? Martinez certainly became overconfident, started mixing it, hands down, and got caught. Stop! Break! Break. Williams really needs to pile on that pressure now. Good shot, lad. Good left cross coming back from Martinez. Looks to have recovered well, Martinez. And look at him turn this around. What a round this is! <laughs> Tremendous action, but... Unfortunately, I don't think Williams has got anything left. Yeah, Martinez certainly recovered here. Look at him turn this round around without getting off the shots again. And Williams now, the man looking in trouble here, taking that step back. Well, nothing at all. <laughs> Richard Williams is the man with the knockdown, and there he is holding on to the NV11 throne. Well, he does look tired there. Excellent recovery from Martinez. Williams caught him with an excellent left hook. Seemed to land high on the head. Just a step on him. Harder this round. Well, he's shattered. Harder this round. Harder this round, they're saying. Harder this round. The tremendous uh, left hook that caught the knockdown. To the temple, I think it was, Spencer. Yeah, there it was, to the temple. Acknowledging the referee straight away, they look to be in control of his senses. But an excellent shot from Williams, but didn't have nothing left to try and finish it off. He didn't pile on the pressure at all, Richard Williams. And Martinez was the one at the end of the round that looked the pressure of the two. Yeah, much the pressure Williams holding on. And uh, there does seem to be something wrong with the legs of Richard Williams and the world great everything in fact. He's got one round to save his title. That would have been another 10-8 round, I'm sure, for Williams. But he's well behind. Yeah, Martinez is as much class as we think he'll try and take the play away from Williams here. Like that. He's not running. And I think he knows Williams has got nothing. Yeah, he does. You can see the spring in his step. Look at that, Martinez. Moving side to side. Low blow going in there from Williams. And that certainly did look low. Yeah, that one was low. To be fair. Ha! <laughs> 
Yeah, no doubt about that one. It wasn't even bored a lot in big moves here. Well, of course, the referee, uh, Frank Santoni, will give him as much time as he needs as a maximum of five minutes if he wants it. Probably won't need that long. In fact, I think uh, Williams is benefiting more from the break than Santa than uh, Martinez. Martinez, it's been in Williams' face from the first bell. And Richard really needs a stop finish here. Unfortunately, he's had the play taken away from him here. He's peppered continually with his left and right from the challenger. Well, come on, Martin, he's done playing it in a big lead. Champion going down to his title. Probably too late. Martinez got for a good left cross there though. Williams looks in trouble here. Correction. I think it's definitely too late. And Williams holding on now. Yeah, there's nothing left here with Williams. His legs look very shaky. Martinez senses this. Williams in desperate trouble here. Clings on. Clings out, he needs to. There's only a minute to go. Surely we'd like to see the champion stay on his feet. But Martinez doesn't need the stoppage, but he wants it. Yeah, I think he may get it as well. Williams again looking to hold here. Yeah, they were punches. He is absolutely shattered. There's 20 seconds, and maybe the referee knows that because it's many reps will have stopped this by now. Yeah, he's all over the place, Williams. He can hardly stand on his legs. Martinez knows his finish is inside here. Well, just hold on. That's what he needs to do, just hold on. There's no doubt he's lost his title, but nobody wants to see him stop. And he is not stop. And it will go to the judges' scorecards. But I think there's no doubt that this man has just lost his title. Oh, definitely. Sitting down there in the corner, absolutely shattered there. Richard Williams, what a performance by the Argentinian Martinez. But there was certainly something missing there with Richard Williams this evening. But they call for the doctor just to check him. There'll be nothing wrong with him, I'm sure about that. But this is an example of that last round. Martinez forcing the knockdown more through exhaust, exhaustion than anything else, and then piling on the pressure. Yeah, that's what it was. It was pure exhaustion. Williams done well there to see the final bell because he had absolutely nothing left with him, about a minute and 20 left in the round. How he got through that? Well, it was sheer guts and bravery. And let's be fair to him, he's been a good champion, and let's hope he can come back from this. We think there's something wrong, whether it be viral or whatever, but let's take nothing away from uh, Sergio Martinez, because I think, whereas we look back and be disappointed by this performance from Richard Williams, in a year or two's time, we're going to see Sergio Martinez go on to much, much bigger things. Yeah, I'm sure we will. I've got it 116, 112, for Martinez. Two 10-8 rounds. Paul Williams making it a little bit closer, but Martinez a clear winner. Yeah, and that, and that would have been a 10-8 round, the last as well. For the knockdown for Martinez, don't forget. Yeah, so sorry, it would have been 116, 1-11. Yeah. Well, I think it's uh, a formality, and he knows it too. Richard knows it, that's for sure.
A good fight there, Spencer. Very entertaining. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 incredible rounds of boxing, the judges' scorecards read. Judge Terry O'Connor, 115-110. Judge John Coyle, 115-112. Judge Andre Van Brudenbrill, 116-110. All three judges are in favour of and a new IBF.